sa Yogi Reload Zero In Episode 11. We start off with a dream sequence wherein napanigini, napanagini pa ni, hindi, ni Hazel si yung, well, basically his past and uh, uh, on how scary Okoko's power is. Pabigla na siya nagising and naramdaman na lang ni Sanzo Siyempre, kasama nila, na Okoko is near. So, he calls him out. Ayun, lumabas si Okoko. The fight begins. Clearly, outmatch si Sanzo rito, si, si Genjo. Gamay na gamay ni Okoko ang kanyang, ang in na scripture sa kanya, yung Muten scripture. He used it to the hilt, even to the point of swallowing Genjo in nothingness. Genjo's memories and uh, experiences are fading in front of his eyes until oh! Hinata sa pabalabas ni Goku. Finally, the cavalry has arrived. Final scene. Well, sinabi na ni Goku. So, kayo pala mga kasama niya. Well, inangasa naman siya ni Hakai. O Goku Sanzo. Hmm. We've heard so much about you. Eh, well, closing remarks ni Goku. We want to, uh, I personally want to see his memories because uh, we've been traveling together. And you na. We're gonna break that episode down now, Critics Sub Style. Pace! From the moment na um, sumagot si Okoko sa call out ni uh, ni Genjo things the, the pacing has gotten really tense talagang you can actually cut the air with a knife ganun ang feeling ko rito uh, here's what the pacing will make you ask will the three be enough sila Gojo Hakai at si Goku at hindi pa nakikialam si Hazel dito hindi pa siya nakikialam dito what more pa kung sasama siya so apat sila susugod ngayon kay uh, kay Okoko in the next episode so I tell you, mga ka lifestyle, the pacing is just right for this one. Kasi, final three episodes na. Magkakasubukan na ang Team Sayuki at si Okoko. And what? Well, Gojo, basic, Gojo, Hakai, and yeah, especially Genjo, they all want payback for what Okoko did to Goku. Tense ang atmosphere. Because, and because of the pacing. Talagang, you can't help it. Kasi, it's a boss battle ne. Talagang, the pacing will be at an, will be at an all-time high. Lalong-lalo na pag, 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 pag tuntong sa next episode. And, wow, the pacing, this episode's pacing really, uh, really set me up for that. Talagang, sasabi ko, bring on the next episode. Bring on the next episode. Flow naman. First gear shift here was ayun nga nung nung sumagot na si Okoko sa call out ni San ni Sanzo. Sana ini. Ki Genjo. Basta uh, I really have to remind myself that uh, if two if two Sanzos are present in the room I I need to use their first names. <laughs> so, well, no brainer of a gear shift, folks. The big bad of this of this entire Sayuki series has finally shown himself to one of the main protagonists. King Genjo pa. Kapwa niya, Sanzo. Second gear ship was was when Okoko enveloped uh, Genjo with that I don't know call a ball. Parang that space of nothingness. Kaya talagang it's all black kasi tinanong sa kanya ni, ni Genjo if he's still chasing that light. Kumaga yeah pagkaangas uh, inangasan siya ni Genjo rito and well siguro he got real pissed off at that he showed Genjo the true power of the muted scripture ayun nga nothingness again a no brainer of a gearship because the big bad has the upper hand right here it's gonna make you hate him even more <laughs> final gearship ayun nga nung uh, sinan pa siya ni Goku si Genjo again no brainer 
Will the three be enough? I don't know. This is what this gearship is telling me. <laughs> so these three gearships that I saw, definitely all of them will play a role in the final two episodes of uh, of this Sayuki series. Plot wise, what? Dream sequence ni Hazel. Parang um, reminder lang sa audience na on on how strong uh, Asanzo Okoku is. Kasi uh, nakita na first hand ni ni Hazel kung gaano kalakas ang ang mukong na to. So and yung mga memories ni ni Genjo na pinapakita lang kung tiyong tiyong nilalamon ng nothingness na to. Yup, that was good. That was totally necessary. Kasi, it enhances the, um, the intent of, of the big, of the big bad to completely take out Genjo. So, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Yung dream sequence ni Hazel, totally negligible. Yung mga memories na pinakita from Genjo here na unti-unting nilalamon ng ng, mut, ng muted scripture actually ni ni Okoko. That was totally necessary because it was a really creepy moment. And it would make you feel that wow, um, Genjo is losing. At nagmamakaawa na si Genjo na na tumigil na si Okoko. Talagang, he's totally at Okoko's mercy at this point. And those, uh, those short sequences, yeah, but they were totally necessary in, uh, in giving the viewer a picture as to how strong the big bad is. I told you, uh, it's a clean plot, mga ka lifestyle. You really need a clean plot from this point onwards para uh, if you're, um, uh, if you're if you're planning on a slam bang ending, dapat, dapat ganito ang takbo. Dapat ganito ang plot parate. Malinis. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Talagang, final three episodes feels right there. So, sa Yugi Reload Zero in episode 11, isip pa. Mm. Two thumbs up. Hindi ko na patatagalin ng review na to, mga ka-lifestyle. I want you guys to mentally prepare yourselves for the final two episodes of Sayuki Reload Zero In. Because, based on what I've um, recalled from Gunlock, mukhang dito tayo magkakaroon ng sagot eh. Kung, kung ano yung magiging progression ng, uh, ng, uh, ng anime. Kung bakit o kung bakit inuna ng, pi ng piro ang gunlock kaysa zero win. Kasi doon sa gunlock, ano na eh, uh, medyo, kilala, medyo kilala na nila sila Hazel at Gat eh. At nagtaka sila kung bakit bakit naging maladimonyo na ang ang powers ni Hazel dito. And well, they were they were forced to they were forced to take him out. Hazel was the big bad of gunlock. We, and we may find out the answers as to how or why dito sa final two episodes kaya kailangan tutukan nyo na sa Yuki fans labas na kayo tutukan nyo na ang final two episodes ng Zero Win so again sa Yuki Reload Zero Win episode 11 two thumbs up another two thumbs up for Zero Win mga ka-lifestyle wow despite um, despite the poor performance of some episodes wow mukhang babawi ng gusto rito Zero Win so Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, eh, chill chill lang muna. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.